Hello world, this is my tutorial on how to set up a test environment for load balancing as a service using Open Daylight and Open vSwitch. So um, I'm just gonna cover a few points how to install Open vSwitch how to configure the, the the bridges the bridge actually and how to add the ports in order to connect the the virtual machines that will be used for load balancing so the idea is that i will have three virtual machines running apache servers and I will have a fourth virtual machine that will be the test uh, machine and all these uh, all these machines are gonna be connected to, to the open v switch and I'm gonna have like a fifth one running the open daylight controller so first thing is first uh, okay so look this is somewhat the, the the infrastructure I want to set up this is something I'm doing for my my final project but you can imagine that this is an open V switch here you have three VMs and here you have just one VM and then you have the SDN controller that's running on, a, on another virtual machine okay so the first thing we want to do is install open v switch on your uh, on your machine just want to to point out i'm using my laptop which is a uh, hp laptop uh, running ubuntu 12.4 lts it has a dual core i7 processor and 8 gigs of ram so nothing really fancy so the first thing you would want to do is install uh, open v switch you can do it from just by doing a sudo apt get install open v switch dash switch okay it will install itself something i found uh, really weird is that during the install process there's an error as you can see here but nevertheless this this will work okay so cancel okay so now we have sudo open vs vsctl show so we have the the switch running okay next thing we want to do is actually add a bridge and create the the virtual ports that we, we will use to connect the, the virtual machines so I have here let me see exactly where I have here the the commands I will put them in the video description so the first thing we will do is we'll add the bridge we just Okay, so it's important to, to type this with sudo. Okay, so now we, if we do like just sudo OVS VSTL show. Okay, so we added the bridge. Now it's time to add the ports. Okay, so I just named mine fast Ethernet just so they seem a little bit logical so I will create four ports okay then I will set them up P link set FA1 up second one third one and the fourth one Okay, next thing we have to do is add them to the bridge 
so we'll use this command over here for every single port so just paste it here two three four okay so this is not particularly interesting but yeah you could write a script that will automatically create these ports so now if we have an obvious CSTL show okay we see that the four ports that we've created are attached to the bridge BR0 okay next thing we will want to do is connect our uh, our switch to the controller so what I actually have here is I have another virtual machine running the controller so the configuration is nothing fancy there is uh, an interface that's a NAT interface so I have internet access and then there's a, a host only interface uh, adapter sorry that allows me to, to tell NAT to it so I can configure it really easy I just took the, the open daylight controller from the git repository and I have it here as you can see in the controller just like cd controller open daylight distribution open daylight target distribution open daylight okay so here you have the run I just run it as a sudo run Okay, so this will start the controller. Okay, it might take a little bit of time. Meanwhile, while this is firing up, I will show you how to configure the virtual machines. So, the thing is, I really don't know where I have a free screen. So, I have this one. Okay, so I have okay so I have here my four virtual machines so uh, the configurations they're nothing too special I just have they have one virtual core one gig of RAM and three network interfaces the first one is used for NAT so I have internet access the second one is a host only adapter in order to telnet and uh, the third one is the bridge adapter that's going to be connected for example this is the first machine it will be connected to the first interface just for to keep things simple so okay we can also fire this and let's see if this one is fired up Okay, you can see here the controller started listening on the port 6633. Okay, so now we can connect the, the open the V switch to the controller. So we have this command over here that sets the controller for BR. So just copy and paste that over here. Thing is, so you see you have OVS VSTL set controller then you have the bridge for which you want to set the controller and then you have the IP address of the of, of the host that's running the, the controller so in my case it's 141 I've just configured it manually you know, statically so I can you know, I can I, I can always be sure that it stays the same okay so this one is done you have no error messages that means it's good you can see here that uh, it's actually connected to the switch and if we go to a browser up and we do 192 168 sorry 156 and we log into daylight okay we'll see the the switch with its four ports associated. Okay.
next thing we'll have to fire up the virtual machines so as I have shown you before this one will be connected to FA1 this one will be connected to FA2 FA3 and FA4 so just start them yeah I also want to mention it I've pre-configured the virtual machines with static IP addresses for uh, for the bridge and for the host only adapter so I could so I can have control over over the addressing scheme okay so you can see here my RAM memory is going up that's okay so memory should be fired up Okay, so I'm just going to open an SSH session. So I just named them um, 13131. Yes, never mind. Okay, so I'm connected to the first one. Second. 192. Yes. Okay. Second one and third one. Two. One and thirty-three. Duck. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm connected to all of them. They've clearly fired up. Okay, so now the last point I want to, the last machine I want to start is the test machine. So I'm going to start this one also. It's going to take a little bit of time because this is actually going to run an Ubuntu desktop version. So I'm just going to let that run. Meanwhile, what I want to do now is create a virtual IP a pool of IPs and add the the HTTP servers to that pool in order to load balance traffic of, on them. So, uh, okay, the, in order to do that, I'm going to use a method found on uh, on Open Daylight Wiki in order to actually create those uh, elements using the rest api so I have written them down you can find them online i'll just post the, the links so the first thing i'm just gonna create the pool using a round robin algorithm okay so Having, you just have to you have here the IP address of your controller the name of the pool and the method so just get that in next thing you want to do is create a virtual IP so you have here the name of the virtual IP the actual IP address and the port that's gonna listen to so you can have many virtual IPs you can have more virtual IPs for different virtual IPs for whatever service you want to run. In this particular case, I'm just going to run the web service. Okay, paste that in. No error message means it's good. And then I'm just going to add the three servers to the pool. Okay. One. I'm just going to change this here, two, and three. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Two, okay, never mind. Set this one to three, and I'll just put this. Okay. See. this no okay so anyways I think they're they've been added 
Okay, so okay, so here I have the virtual machine which is running that's connected to the open v switch so we can test that uh, each virtual machine actually http virtual machine is running apache with a basic basic web page and you have like server one oh, sorry 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 server two okay so you can see this that the servers are different and server three Okay, so now that we've created the um, the pool, what we can do is actually uh, okay. Next, we have to add the ARP the the MAC address to to the computer's uh, ARP cache because. So far, this this is a shortcoming of Open Daylight. There, if you don't add this, you will uh, for sure it will not work because it doesn't have the the MAC address of the virtual IP. So actually, what you're gonna do is firstly let's check what the IP address of this machine is. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so we're on four. Okay, so we're just gonna add. For example, we're going to add MAC address. Okay, just okay, so now if we type here 20, which is the virtual IP, okay, it's going to take some time. And okay, we're on server one. If we refresh, however, we're still on server one. Okay, so we can yeah, close it. Close this. Open it again. Okay, 10, 20, okay, server 1. Okay, so in order to see that the load balancing is actually working, let's just try it again. <laughs> okay, we're still on server 1. So, uh, sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the IP address of the, of the machine. Okay, so I, I already had this in the history okay we'll just do this and then just add the mac the r the the mac address okay so we can see it changed to 10 okay so now if you go again wait. okay okay we can see we're on server 2 okay and if we refresh we're still on the server 2 okay so what to we'll do again Change again the IP address and okay, 12. We'll re add uh, this and we'll refresh. And we're on server one. Maybe we'll try, let's try again. Put another address because yeah, I, I mistyped some commands, so probably we'll not get server three. Oh, look, so there's server 3. Okay, so this is a short demo of how to set up your environment in order to test uh, load balancing as a service uh, that's offered by the Open Daylight controller. So it's, yeah, okay. I'll just post all the commands and uh, the links to to other websites that I use to to make this tutorial. And if you have any questions, just send me a message on YouTube. Okay, take care.